The Music and Memory Program has been at Quaker Heights Care Community for approximately a year. The staff have really embraced the program because they see the benefits that result for our residents. We've also been uh, extremely uh, fortunate to have the students here at Waynesville High School coming down and providing the opportunity for intergenerational um, interaction with our residents. They're coming down to actually put the playlist on each resident's device. And ultimately our goal is to have a device for each resident. And once that's established, these students will actually be partnered up with residents to ensure that their playlist is a reflection of their interest in the past. Baseline. This is her baseline. Mm -hmm. It just makes the whole thing. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's constant. Motion. How long has Mabby uh, lived um, here? She's been here about a year and a half. A year and a half. Um, she came from another facility. She needed the memory care unit. They didn't have one. Mm -hmm. So she came here and she's been in this unit the entire time. But this uh, constant activity is from morning till night with her. She um, is always moving. Is, is Maggie one of the uh, five residents that you chose for the program? Okay. Do you have other residents in the program uh, yes. besides the five? We have actually, we have one more that has just okay. recently started. Okay. Have you collected other iPods? A few. We're still working on getting Getting more. Take him a few minutes. When we go that way, I'll take you, okay? Now it takes her a few minutes to kind of start to calm down. Can you come in up here? I think she's primarily just country music. She doesn't have a, yeah, any kind of, um, oh, like gospel country. Like gospel country. Uh -huh. So, From the activity perspective of the Music and Memory program, um, what makes our day and what we really look for is how it affects the residents, the family, and the staff. Um, to have a resident that is not feeling good that day, maybe sad, maybe depressed, maybe hurting, to be able to play their favorite music and to see the, the glow on their face, the, the twinkle in their eye when they hear that song whether it's just a pat of the foot or a tap of the finger, that's what we want. We want to see that bring them back out of themselves, bring them back kind of into our world. Um, we, we always have to go to their world, but this time it kind of brings them back to us a little bit and it lets us connect with them. And I think the family appreciates that more than we ever know because when the family comes in and says, my mom hasn't said anything to me for a year, and a while ago she said she loved me. That's it. So once I see that, we're good. And Music and Memory definitely does this. It's, it's an amazing program. I would recommend it to everybody, not just dementia residents, everyone. So um, I, I couldn't support the program any better. Where are you going?
going? You want to go for a walk? You are Are you going to sing for me? We have a relatively low usage of antipsychotics here, but it has helped us to prevent adding a, maybe a benzodiazepine to help calm people down. One of our um, most successful cases with music and memory has been a resident who um, would show signs of distress, um, whether they were delusions or hallucinations or just memories that were, that were coming out. They were very distressful to her, and we have found that through the music and memory program, we can... Um, put on her headphones and start her music and, and she will relax within 10 to 15 minutes and able to sit in her chair in peace whereas before it was um, almost a constant state of distress. Um, another resident that we have is very resistive to cares, um, is pleasant most of the time when they're not um, attempting ADLs and uh, we've found that if we apply music for that resident uh, usually 30 minutes, maybe an hour before care that um, his mood is elevated so he's less resistive to care and if staff carry that um, sing-along kind of thing into his um, into providing his hands-on care then he is more receptive and cooperative with this with this care. I first heard of the Alive Inside movie from the Sundance um, Film Festival and heard of the documentary and I was really intrigued by how much uh, information they had collected about long-term care residents and how this music really impacted them. So I went and made a special uh, effort to go to a playing of Alive Inside in Dayton and went to the theater and then shortly after it came out um, on YouTube. But another nurse and I went and we just cried the whole way through it. It was just so impactful uh, to see so much, um, you know, people come alive after they heard this music. So we went back to the facility and presented that to the team and eventually we got everything together and presented this to our uh, team and our residents and our families and got a lot of um, feedback immediately. We tried it on a couple of residents and saw for ourselves how exciting it was to have them, re you know, respond and families, you know, Obviously, we're impacted. People were crying. It was just neat to see people tapping their toes, and then afterwards, even being more interactive in activities. So, as I see the music and memory program for our program here at, at Wilmington Nursing Rehab, I think it's really a cornerstone. Music has always been an important part of our lives. Um, Bill likes all kinds of music, opera, um, country, uh, the Beatles, all, all those, all kinds of music. We started singing piano for him every morning, and he would clap and get lots of reaction from the piano. Things have changed somewhat since he's been here, but I appreciate the, the earphones and the real like that one? This little light of mine. You gonna say? I know what it's shine.
this is Wanda. A lot of times she'll hum or sing to the music. Her family thinks it makes her, has made a difference and that she's more alert since she started the music and memory program. <clears throat> Sometimes they take the headphones with them when she has appointments and they, they say it makes a big difference. You gonna sing, Wanda? You gonna sing, Wanda? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. She's camera shy. best uses for the program is for the residents that have dementia with anxiety features. Um, the young lady here is a perfect example. Um, she has a lot of her family's gospel music on her playlist and I think when you put it on her she becomes a different person. Um, I use music for stress or just about everything. I grew up in the 80s so music for me is a big part of my life so I, I, I hope that when I get to be their age, there's a program like this for me. 